Would you like to sell 1,400 lobsters? Well, about 30 years ago, I actually did that. I won a lobster contest and sold 1,400 lobsters. And what happened was, is that I was working at this restaurant. It was a steak restaurant, and I was paying my way through university. Uh, that's why I was working as a waiter. And one night, the manager came up to me and said, we're having a contest to try to get you to sell more lobsters. And I said, well, we're a steak restaurant. What, what, what's up with the lobsters? He said, well, when people buy the steak, we, we kind of break even. But where we make our profit is by selling additional things like lobsters. So we want everybody to buy a lobster with their steak. So we're going to have this contest. Now, the thing is, the person that sells the most lobsters is going to win a really big prize, which actually, as it turned out, was dinner at a much better restaurant. The other thing was is that the person that came in last was going to lose their job. They were going to fire the person. So for me, I was like, well, I don't care if I win the contest, but I definitely don't want to come in last and lose my job. I would probably have to drop out of school. So, so I asked him, I said, you know, how, how do you suggest I sell lobsters? He said, well, every time somebody orders a steak, just ask them if they'd like to have a lobster. We call that suggestive selling. So I thought, okay, well, that, that sounds easy. So I went out to the first table that night, two people, and they ordered their steak. And then I said, well, would you like to have a lobster with your steak? And they said no. But OK. So I thought, well, the next table, I'm going to try harder here. So they ordered their steak at the next table. And I said, uh, we've got these beautiful lobster tails. And we had them flown in fresh uh, yesterday. And they look really good on a plate, and it makes the dinner look really nice. And you know, I really recommend you have a have a lobster. Well, they said no too. So I wasn't doing too good. And I thought, well, okay, well, the next table, I'm just gonna be honest with them. So I told them, I said, you know, actually there's this contest, and I'm trying to sell lobsters, and if I don't sell any, I might actually get fired, because I'll come in last. Could you please buy a lobster? I was kind of begging them to. And they thought I was really pathetic, and they said no. And I felt pathetic, and I thought, okay, well, that's not going to work. So over the next three weeks, I tried absolutely everything I could think of, and nothing worked. And after three weeks, I had sold four lobsters, four, and actually two of them I sold to my parents, and the other two I actually bought myself just to kind of pad my score a little bit. So that definitely wasn't going to work. I was, I was staring uh, unemployment in the face here. What I didn't realize was that I was just on the verge of coming up with this really big idea and selling 1,400 lobsters and winning the contest hands down. As a matter of fact, the second person actually only sold 90 lobsters. I sold 1,400 of them. And the thing was, I never told anybody how I did it. I never told anybody how I did it until I actually wrote a book called How to Sell Lobster. And this, I just wrote this was kind of a fun thing to talk about that story and other ideas and lessons I learned about selling stuff. And it just kind of took off. And now the book's sold in 25 countries and it's translated into 12 languages. And every day I get emails from people like from Russia and from China and Romania all over the place, saying they tried these things and they really worked. And they were kind of surprised because they're kind of unusual ideas. So that was really fun. Well, now I thought what I would do is take the lessons that I've learned over the last 30 years that all began with that lobster contest and turn them into what I call the lobster learning series. So there actually are 101 lobster lessons that I've learned that I'm going to share with you in this series. Now, you're probably wondering how I ended up selling 1,400 lobsters. Well, if you go to the next segment, I'm going to teach you the first three major lobster lessons 
about how to sell more and make more money, three of them, and then I'm going to tell you how I won the lobster contest. So I encourage you to go ahead and do that next segment. Just watch those three lobster lessons and you'll learn how I won the contest. So thanks and we'll see you in the next segment.